I never waited tables. Um, not cut out for it. Not mm -hmm. cut out for it. <laughs> but I took typing in seventh grade. Okay. And I had typing skills. So my survival job was doing temp work in offices. Okay. And so I was working at a, 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 an accounting firm on Sixth Avenue. And there was a guy there, African-American guy, you know, who would stop by my desk and we would chat and blah, blah, blah. And he was a great guy. So one day he comes to me and he says, listen, my, my, my father is Lena Horne's manager. And they're replacing uh, two of the background singers for the show. You should tell your agent and set up an audition. So I was like, thank you. I will. So I did. I called my agent. I auditioned for the show. And I got the part. And so my first Broadway show was with Lena Horne. And I did it for six months. The last six months it was on Broadway in New York. And that woman, watching her, watching her work every night, because you saw the show. It's pretty much mm, two and a half hours of Lena. Mm -hmm. You know, we sang a little bit in the beginning. Yep. We sang at the finale, but it's all Lena. And she was there. She never missed a performance, no matter what, for a year and a half. So that was the bar that was set for me. And one of the great stories that I like to share is when my mother came to see the show. And, you know, my mother's gorgeous. And my mother was like... Gigi. I, right? Gigi, yeah, yeah. yes. And she was a young <laughs> Lena Horn in her day. And, you know. And so she comes to see the show. And we get the tickets. And I just, you know, I just arranged the tickets. I didn't see where they were. So I come out on stage. My mother is front row center. And I was like, who would put my mother front row center? You know what I mean? It makes me nervous, whatever. So at intermission, Lena always left her door open. And I was walking past her door to go up to my dressing room. And uh, as I walked past, she said, Toonie, Toonie. And I was like, um, oh, I'm back up. I'm like, yes, Lena. She's like, come in here. I'm like, okay. It's kind of like being called to the principal's office. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yes, Lena. And so she's sitting in, at her vanity and she's doing her makeup. And she says, Toonie. Is that your mother in the front row? And I'm like, oh, God, <laughs> what has she done? And I'm looking at her in the mirror. I'm like, yes, Lena, that, that's my mom. And she says, well, she's just grinning at me, and I'm just grinning at her, and we're having a good time. <laughs> and I was like, whew, whew, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, um, so that was super special. And over the years after that, um, I saw Lena periodically. I saw her last performance at Carnegie Hall and there were masses of people. And as she was making her way through the crowd, she saw me and she just reached her hand through like four people toward me. And I just took her hand. And as she was graciously talking to this person and that person, that person, she held hands until she got to me. And then uh, when she got to me, she said, Tooney, I'm just so proud of you. Oh my gosh. And I was like, oh, That's, yeah. That's yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of the Glimpses YouTube family. I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy all of the clips and episodes coming your way. As you go about your day, I encourage you all to take a moment, look around, and catch a glimpse.